I put myself through school as a single mother. I did not have the time nor the money to come down here and deal with this idiocracy of fraudulent voter claims. Like, like, I didn't have time for it. There are working families who cannot come down here on a Tuesday at 10 a.m. to testify. That doesn't mean they don't live here and it doesn't mean they don't vote here. Voting is a very sacred right and it should be easy for all registered voters in Washoe County to exercise that right. At least half a dozen of these measures are not permitted by the Board of Commissioners. Several others are the exact opposite of making it easy for voters to cast their ballots. We have proven to have safe and secure elections in the past, so these proposed changes are not an answer to an existing issue. I have voted in every election since I was of age to vote in 2008. Each time I have voted, I used an electronic voting machine. None of these elections were fraudulent, nor were they fraught with voter fraud claims. <sighs> Limiting access to electronic voting machines will cause extreme wait times, which will discourage voters and create barriers to them being able to cast their ballot. Think about, like I've already stated, working parents, single mothers, single fathers who want to exercise their right to vote. They need to take time off work, get a babysitter, or bring their children with them. These choices are made infinitely harder when a person has to wait hours and hours to vote. We all want our elections to be safe, secure, and easy. Our democracy and freedom depend on our right to cast a vote in each election. Undermining that right by restricting access to voting is dangerous, especially when it is based on unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud. Time and time again, we have seen these claims of voter fraud disproven. We should not limit voting access based on these claims and rhetoric. I strongly encourage all of you to oppose this. Thank you for your service.